So my name is Gary Wozniak and I'm a resident Metro Detroit, Michigan person. And I'm the founder and CEO of a project in Detroit called Recovery Park. Our mission is to create jobs for people with barriers to employment, so people coming out of prisons and drug treatment programs. And we create those jobs in the food space, so growing food, value-added production and distribution. When the storms hit, uh, they were pretty severe. Uh, we had one day where we got close to seven inches of rain. You know, our headquarters building across the street had two to three feet of water in it. It's not something that just goes away fast. So that's a problem. We have power outages all the time. This past, this past year, since the first of this year, we've had three power outages that have completely shut us down. What did the power outage the additional issues that it caused, like you know, blowing out the, the circuit boards on the you know, rooftop units and those sorts of things. So it's kind of like a domino effect. It's just not, the power went out, okay? There's other issues that happened because of that. With food, depending on how you're growing it, uh, or if you've harvested it already, or it needs to be at a certain temperature, if you don't have power, it can make the difference between being able to sell it at the market and an hour later I'm throwing it out. So you gotta make sure that you always have a constant source of power. So it took them almost five days to get our electric back up. That was a real challenge because we couldn't occupy our headquarters, we didn't have any lights. The water ended up going down after like a day or two because uh, the storm source system's caught up, but then you still gotta come in and clean and with no power, you know, we couldn't just start cleaning right away. We had to wait till the power came back on. So the damages that we sustained and just stuff that we threw away was probably twenty-five or thirty thousand um, dollars, and then you know the crew probably another eight to ten thousand, and just you know cleaning up, hauling out, sanitizing. The, the big problem with the storm water is that the storm sewer system is old. Uh, it leaks. It's clogged in a lot of places. Some of it's just collapsed. So we haven't had flooding here where the high tunnels are because of the stormwater management system that's in place. So that's a good thing. So the Build Back Better agenda offers an opportunity to tap into financial resources, uh, the way that it's, it's structured currently, uh, that could be of good benefit to us. The, the dollars coming into a neighborhood like this that's on its way back could really help. You know, those dollars could be spent in the ground, putting in new piping, putting in, you know, taking the electric grid that's currently above ground and, and putting it below ground so it's not susceptible to the wind and the, and the storms. You know that Recovery Park has stuck to its mission. Um, is still keeping to its mission. Any, any amount of money that can come into this neighborhood that can help rebuild infrastructure that we don't have to pay for privately uh, is just more money that we can put toward our mission. I love Recovery Park and its mission and what it set out to do and somehow, some way, it's gonna happen.